Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a quick video review on the Smith & Wesson MP40 Pro Series. I'm going to show you how that um, differs from the Sigma and its trigger. Maybe we can do a little bit of dimensional comparisons here. They've been safety checked, but let's double check here. There's a Sigma. All right, let me kick them down for you. All right, let's starting off with the Sigma. I've done lots of polishing and trigger work to my Sigma so the pull is very smooth there's a little little bit of grit but far better than a stock now we can see in here the trigger bar and the sear work together the whole trigger pull you see the sear begins to move back as soon as you begin to fire let's see right you see how it moves back the whole way. It's a nice feel, however, there's tension throughout the shot. It feels maybe like a, a little bit lighter than a bread and double action. There you go, you can see it right there. It feels nice, but it's far different than the MP40 Pro series. There's pre travel, and this here, you see it? Here, it doesn't do anything until you hit this point here, and then it begins to move right there. So it, this comparable to a Beretta in single action, where it has that nice crisp right here, and then bang. So you see it side by side. Let's see, resistance throughout, nothing until that point. Those are a few differences, side by side, MP40 on the bottom, almost the same dimensionally, but the MP is <laughs> obviously far superior, it's, uh, everything is beefed up on it parts on it, just everything is better. On the back, the Sigma is a little bit chunkier, a little bit thicker and shorter. The m p is thinner and longer. So the Sigma, I mean the, the m p 40 feels better in the hand, obviously, but the Sigma is not bad. It just feels chubbier. Um, it's not bad though. They both feel good. Now I'm going to put these together for you. And show you, maybe you can hear where the trigger goes off. So you can see it. Alright. Let's give you a little bit. It's really awesome. Now this is the 40. It has a nice sight here. All right, let's let's show you. Really crisp. Really crisp. Feels awesome. Let's One more time. just feels awesome. <laughs> now my Sigma is a little bit different. It's it's a clean break, however it's it's like a double action. 
I've gotten used to the way the Sigma shoots. That trigger, I've gotten used to that, where there's tension throughout the shot. When I shot this, it felt nice, but I wasn't I was expecting it to somewhat feel like the Sigma. So it kinda threw me off at first. I was anticipating the trigger to be a little bit heavier, more travel with that, but it wasn't, so I think I was, my shots were off because I was um, pulling the trigger a little bit harder than I should have been, not expecting it, but now I can see why. All right, let's see here. They're both, you know, the M and P is worlds apart in quality from the Sigma. But the nice serrations here. The slide stop is ambidextrous right here and here. So a left-handed shooter. Oh, left-handed shooter has it here. That's nice touch here. This feels really nice. And yeah. This firearm, um, my friend, a good friend of mine, let me borrow it to make this video. This, this is not my uh, MNP 40. So, um, be real gentle with it. This is my Sigma, however. Yep. The Sigma... The Sigma has gone a long way for me. I bought it stock, I bought it new, I bought it... You know, I, I was a new shooter. I was limp-wristing it. I was having a lot of, uh, you know, stove piping and whatnot. I thought it was the gun, but... When I started holding it correctly, I have a firm grip on there. It, it was running flawless. Now, even though a Sigma is is nice and it, it's real reliable, once you actually hold and shoot an M and P and see the quality difference in there. You can tell that a Sigma is never going to compare to a something more expensive. Once you you start to look close enough, but nevertheless, I'm happy with it, my Sigma. So that was a video for y'all. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.